Hey, look, I just recreate Mr. Beast thumbnail in less than five minutes and no, no, this is not a paid tool. It's totally free, not just Mr. Beast, but also Mr. Who's the Boss and in every niche from cartoons to gaming, I can now create every thumbnail with this 100% free AI tool. In this video, you will learn exactly how to create a high click through rate professional thumbnail with AI no matter what niche you're in, whether you're a beginner or a pro, in my opinion, in 2024 channels that are not utilizing this tool will get left behind. You see most of the big YouTubers using AI thumbnails in their videos, which stand out boldly, also uh, gets marginally more views compared to human created ones. So as a small channel from today, I use this tool in my thumbnails. I will show you two methods, each with its own purpose. I'll explain those later. The third method, though not on the list, is a bonus for those who stick around until the end. Uh, first up... All right, to recreate any thumbnail, I first copy a thumbnail. Now I upload this to ChatGPT and type in this prompt, write me a detailed prompt to recreate this thumbnail. ChatGPT then gives me a prompt that I can use to create the thumbnail. I copy that prompt and paste it on this website. Don't rush to generate- Wait, wait, first we should edit this prompt because ChatGPT might make some mistakes. Sometimes you have to add text and sometimes we need to delete some. Just watch what I'm doing. Basically, you have to read the entire prompt carefully and delete what you don't want to see on your thumbnail and specify what you want. For example, in the Mr. Beast thumbnail, there's no text, so I need to clear that sentence and write, I don't need any text on my thumbnail. And now you need to understand this setting. First magic prompt. What the magic prompt does is fill in the gaps when your prompt isn't enough for the AI to understand. So if I give the AI this short prompt, you'll see it change to a better and more complete prompt. Um, next up, all these settings, I probably don't need to explain since you guys are smarter than me. Now tap on generate. As you can see, these thumbnails are great, but in the beast thumbnail, he's lying down. So I need to mention that in the prompt. Click generate again but it's not perfect yet. So I want only the character's face to be visible, close up of his face, it generate again. And now you can see this image is about 90% accurate and with a few more tweaks, it can replicate Mr. Beast 100%. Um, but as a YouTuber, I think this is good enough to click if you crop a for use. Um, to download it, click on the three dots, then download. And remember, since these images aren't high quality, always upscale them before uploading to YouTube. Now let's create another thumbnail with this method. Just like this one from Mr. Who's the Boss. Now I copied the ChatGPT, but now there's an error because my ChatGPT token is used up. You can either make a new account or wait until the next day. So I paste it into a new ChatGPT account and generate my prompt. Then I paste it on this website to see what it generates. As I mentioned, 100% I isn't perfect, so I need to rewrite it for a better result. I edit the prompts generated a few times. And finally, the result is this. Now swap your face with the thumbnail person and you create a thumbnail of a YouTuber who has millions of subscribers. So it's gonna work for you too. This method is good for beginners, but as you grow your subscribers will comment you like this, this, this. So you need to learn more advanced ways to create thumbnails. Now, let's talk about text to thumbnail, or as I like to call imagination to thumbnail. This is the main method you should learn if you wanted to create an original thumbnail from your imagination, like we all do when we create thumbnails for our videos. I found a thumbnail while browsing games on YouTube. I'm not sure if it'll be helpful, but I decided to go with it. Don't skip this step, even if you don't want to make this type of thumbnail. Watch it, because it's not just about creating this specific thumbnail. It's about learning how to bring your imagination to life in a thumbnail. That's what we all do when making a thumbnail, right? To create thumbnail with this method first, you need a clear idea in your mind. Right now, I'm thinking of a soldier's perspective with a teammate walking ahead on the muddy jungle path. That's the concept I want for my thumbnail. Now ChatGPT gives me the full prompt. I copy it, paste it, generate it, and voila. My thumbnail is ready. But wait, there's a problem. The perspective is from the ground. It's not what I wanted, so I'm changing it now. But my wording isn't quite right, so as I'm typing, it's coming out that way. Yeah, obviously, um, that's not a gun. That's my mistake. It's a rifle. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that the image needs to be 8K ultra realistic. These images are decent, but they could be better, so let's regenerate them. Uh, now I see the rifle needs to be held properly. Let's fix that and regenerate again. Perfect. That's what I call perfection. Now let's move on to our most advanced step master. Sometimes the prompt doesn't produce the desired result, especially if it's too complex for AI to understand. If you're working on something that requires capturing all your imagination in one image, you should try this method. First, when you are creating a thumbnail, you should have an image in your mind. I can't show you my imagination, so let's use this thumbnail as an example. Mr. Beast makes himself look poor, takes a picture, generates a background, and he's done. But I don't have the budget for makeup and costumes. Um, so first I need to generate a background, then the character. 
I need a prompt to generate the background, so go to ChatGP write your idea, even if it's incomplete, then ask ChatGPT for a prompt to generate the thumbnail. Copy this prompt and paste it into a website called Ideagram. I edit some words to make the thumbnail bright instead of dim. And then hit generate. Looks like the thumbnails aren't bright enough. I delete all words that made the thumbnail dim, hazy, grayish. And generate again. Here's your thumbnail. Now download one of them that you might think is good for our design. And move to the second round. I need a character. So I asked ChatGPT for a prompt to make a character in dirty clothes holding a bag and looking like a beggar. Then ChatG provides me a prompt that I paste in an ideogram. Um, then I write what I need in the image and delete unnecessary words. Always remember, both AI and humans prefer simple prompt or sentences, so try to make your prompt or sentence as straightforward as possible. A simpler prompt leads to better understanding for both AI and humans. As I said, it came out really well, and I think this figure will quite match with Mr. B's figure. Ha ha ha! Next, I go into Canva, upload the two images, and position them. My pro subscription expired, so I removed the background outside Canva and used that image. This type of thumbnail doesn't need much editing, just position them. And you're done. Now find Mr. Beast's face to swap with the thumbnail person. I did that, but it didn't look good because Canva lacks options to blend two objects and match colors with the environment. If you use another software, just fix these issues and you're good to go. That's the complete video. Um, if you think these thumbnails were very easy to create with AI, then you can recommend some complex thumbnails that you find challenging to create with AI. Comment the video link because I want some complex thumbnail suggestions to show in the second part of this video. See you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep growing.